asked yourself that question, then today's your lucky day because you're about to find out. But before we do that, we gotta talk about who the GOAT was before Jordan. So if you go way back to the Wilt Chamberlain and Bill Russell era, Bill was the one winning all the championships, but it was a pretty known thing that Wilt was the better player. He definitely had a lot more skill and was a lot more athletic. But with all of Russell's championships, the argument could have easily gone the other way. So there was a little bit of debate. And then right around there is when Kareem comes in, who to this day is in a lot of people's all-time top three. But he wasn't a guy that was really liked by fans or the media back then, so he never truly made it into the conversation as the greatest ever. And then for a little bit, there were conversations that Dr. J might have been the greatest of all time. So around the late 70s, there were a lot of options. But no one truly held down the unanimous vote as the GOAT. But that changed a little bit in the 80s when the Magic Johnson and Larry Bird era came into place. These guys were so great, had such a good rivalry, and both played on all-time great teams to the point that they both took over the spot as the greatest of all time. Because in fans' opinions, they were really split 50-50 on who was the best, depending on what fan you asked. But as we all know, things changed pretty quickly. Because Michael Jordan's career really took off when he failed another level. And then by his last season in North Carolina, he was so good that a player from Indiana said that when his coach told him he had to guard Michael Jordan in their Sweet 16 game, he went back to his hotel room and threw up. But even then, the Tar Heels would lose the game. But MJ did win the National college player of the year so he declared for the draft but even before the draft when he played on the 84 olympic team he showed just how good he was because the olympic team played a game against the nba all-stars from that year and jordan put up 27 points before ever making it into the nba and we are looking for when it was mutually decided that jordan was the greatest of all time but after this game was the very first time someone publicly gave him that title when his head coach from that olympic team Bobby Knight said this about him. Michael Jordan is the best athlete, he's the best competitor, he's got the best ability, and he's one of the most skilled players that I've ever seen play. And that to me makes him the best basketball player I've ever seen. And then in his rookie season, he instantly became a fan favorite across the league for his high-flying style of play, and due to the fact that he averaged over 28 a game in his first season. And throughout the years, he continued to get the fans on his side and dominate the league. And in only his second season, Larry Bird, who people still thought was possibly the greatest player of all time, famously said that Mike was God disguised as Michael Jordan. And in the 1991 Eastern Conference Finals, MJ and the Bulls swept the Pistons and would go on to win their first NBA championship. And this is really where the talks first came up on if people were watching the greatest of all time play. It was a constant conversation between fans, but no one was convinced that that was definitely the case. But then when the Chicago Bulls would go on to win the championship the next season and make it to the NBA Finals, looking to three-peat in 1993, things got a little more interesting. I even found this clip during the 93 Finals, before he actually did three-peat, of Magic Johnson saying that Jordan was the best player of all time. One more quick one from you, Magic. Do you feel that Michael is the best ever? I think so. I think he's the, not only the best basketball player, but probably the greatest athlete that's ever played any sport. So at this point, he had been called a god and a goat by the two men that had previously been considered the best. But after the Chicago Bulls beat the Suns in 
Crow, the dunk on Matumbo, the dunk on Ewing, and his role on the Dream Team that I didn't even mention that only added to his legacy. Which is why all these things were enough evidence for the entire NBA world to agree on June 20th, 1993 that Michael Jordan was the GOAT. So, there you have it. That's the exact day that Michael Jordan unanimously became...